Friends, good morning. My name is Tony Sundermeyer, one of the pastors here at First Presbyterian Church of Atlanta. Let me welcome you to worship. Um, so good to see so many of you here in the sanctuary, also those who are worshiping uh, with us online, whether you're at home or you're traveling over this uh, holiday weekend. Uh, we're so thankful that we can be together in worship today. Before we go any further, I'm going to invite you to stand, move about the sanctuary a little bit, find a face you don't recognize. Let's say good morning and welcome to First Pres. I just told Justin. Okay. not check one, two. Gavin is talking and not turning my microphone back on. Gavin? Uh, our order for worship today starts on page nine. You'll find in the back of the bulletin uh, announcements. Uh, consider those invitations to participate in what God is doing. Uh, in and through the life of this uh, congregation. We do have a new members class uh, next Sunday, uh, January 22nd, after this service, 12.15 to 2.30. You can sign up. You'll see the sign-up info on page uh, 17. Um, if you're a first-time visitor with us, you'll see a little QR code on the top of page 9. We encourage you to take out your smartphone, take a snapshot of that, fill out the prompts all the way through. We're going to just simply greet you with an email and welcome you uh, to worship uh, today. And if there's any way we can be supportive of you, um, today or in the days ahead, we want to be able to, to know that. Um, tomorrow is Martin Luther King uh, Jr. Day. The church offices are closed, but we will have at 3 o'clock a concert uh, with our artists in residence challenge the stats as we celebrate the legacy of uh, Dr. King. It's called Trials to Triumph. Um, wonderful program uh, that's been put together for, uh, for Martin Luther King Day to celebrate his faith and his life and what he has meant, not just to the church, but to our nation. So I encourage you to read about that, how to make uh, reservations for uh, being a part of that concert. It's free, but we are encouraging folks to let us know that you're coming. Um, Faith Formation in the New Year is a new program that uh, one of our pastors, Barry Gaddert, is uh, beginning this Wednesday night, 7 to 8 p.m. Uh, in the Worth Room right here. It's a midweek program. Uh, for those who would like to engage in some rich and meaningful conversation about uh, growing deeper in our faith through practices of the faith, Barry, uh, and, this, um, and this opportunity is, is for you. So uh, he'll be around after worship if you have any questions about that. But again, Wednesday, uh, this Wednesday, it'll begin 7 to 8 p.m. The Women's Retreat is happening on uh, Saturday, January 28th. Uh, it's a day-long uh, retreat. The theme is Connecting and Reconnecting. Katie Sundermeyer, Chris Holmes will be helping facilitate uh, that retreat uh, from our staff. Chris's uh, spouse, who's also a pastor, Reverend Janelle Holmes, will be presenting a workshop uh, too. Uh, you can learn more about the women's retreat outside of the sanctuary here. Uh, there's a table set up that gives information about all of uh, the happenings there. We've got three pastoral care uh, concerns and one other announcement. I um, want to congratulate Tommy and Lucy Ratchford on the birth of their first child, a son named Joseph Thomas Ratchford IV on January the 5th. Um, grandparents are Tom and Eleanor Ratchford and great-grandmother, who's also a member of the church, Emily Knobloch. Uh, we all share in joy with them. We have two deaths uh, to announce. Uh, beloved and longtime member Donna T T uh, Tabaka was called to glory on January the 12th. A memorial service will be held uh, on Friday the 20th at 10 a.m. in the chapel. Rob will be uh, leading that service. And our prayers go out to Jane Lybrook on the death of her husband, Doug. 
um, who died on January the 11th. Doug and Jane uh, were married for 60 years. Uh, graveside service is going to be held on Saturday, January 21st, that Katie and I will be leading at 1 p.m. at Arlington. It won't be here at the church. It'll be at the Arlington Memorial Park, followed by a reception at the Cherokee Town and Country Club. So please do be in prayer uh, for these households as they welcome life, but also as uh, some households say goodbye as those whom we love enter eternal life. Finally, if you're on our email blast, and if you're not, I encourage you to get on our email blast. You saw a letter come out from me and from uh, Dr. Jens Korndorfer. We put that letter also in the order for service uh, in the bulletin on page 14 for those who haven't uh, seen it. Uh, for the last several months now, Jens has been discerning a call to take a, a professor position at uh, Baylor University, and I just have to say and go on record right now, I will never pick Baylor in any NCAA tournament bracket ever again. Um, uh, for those who know Jens, and I wrote about this, and he wrote about this, um, uh, he's had a vocational trajectory that he thought one day would take him to a university setting. And Baylor, for those who do know the music world, but also the worship music world and, and the liturgical world, Baylor has a wonderful program of not just teaching music, but teaching church music and worship music. And Jens has been here for over 10 years. Uh, he was the perfect candidate for them, quite candidly. And uh, as I said in my letter, I'm not surprised that he uh, got this job. We're excited for Julia and for Jens. Jens is actually in Nebraska playing a concert. Uh, Julia, his spouse, is, actually, is leading us in worship on the organ bench uh, this morning. Uh, we're happy for them. It, it's a sad. Uh, it's a sad. It's sad news for us. And personally, for me, um, it's it's really difficult because we have really enjoyed working together and uh, the worship life that we've been able to be a part of and help facilitate uh, and lead has just been an absolute blessing for me. He's been a great colleague, and I'm thankful for his ministry. The good news is on two fronts. One, he's going to be with us through July. And, um, and so we're, we're glad about that. Uh, we'll have some sort of celebration for him before everybody goes away on vacation. Uh, and so look for that announcement coming sometime in the early spring. Uh, the second uh, piece of good news is that this is an incredible congregation with an incredible worship life, uh, incredible resources, and an incredible team. And uh, I'm very confident that God will raise up a leader to come and, uh, and join us in ministry. So the session will be um, releasing some announcements about a search committee uh, probably by the end of the month. And you can be praying for that process. And uh, again, please be praying for Jens and Julia as they uh, prepare for this transition. Well, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us now prepare our hearts for the worship of God. Will you join me in our responsive call to worship found printed in your bulletin? Grace and peace to you from the one who always was and who is still to come, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. This is our God, the one who loves us and who came to us in and as the person of Jesus Christ and who gathers us in this hour of worship by the power of the Holy Spirit. Friends, God is here, so let us stand in body or spirit and let us worship our God.
friends, the proof of God's amazing love is this. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Because we have faith in him, we dare to approach God with confidence. In faith and penitence, let us now confess our sins to God and to one another, first using the prayer in our bulletin and then in a moment of silence. Gracious God, we find ourselves in circumstances we have not chosen, and we scurry to find any sense of normalcy. We know that you are the rock, yet we lean on other foundations. We know that you are sovereign, but we seek security in our own control. We know that you give comfort, but we elevate comforts of our own design. We know that you satisfy, but we keep scrolling. We know that you set us free, but addictions grip us tightly. We know that you call us to rest, but we keep a hurried pace. By grace, forgive us. In mercy, meet us. And by your Holy Spirit, equip us to walk in the newness of life with Christ. In his name we pray. Amen. As we confess our shortcomings and God offers us the assurance that in Jesus Christ, who lived, died, and was raised to show us the power of God's love that conquers the power of sin, we are forgiven and loved regardless of what we have done in the past. We have the assurance that we are continually being made new in the image of Christ. The slate is wiped clean and we can live in hope toward the future without being enslaved to our past failures. In Christ, we have the power to work with God's Spirit, who is continually making all things in accord with the divine purpose. Friends, believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Hallelujah. Amen. 